Hi everybody. Um, just recording to present my case to you all. Uh, it's one of the last things that we have to do before graduation, which is really exciting. Um, but I guess I'll get started. YC is a 33-year-old Asian female, G2P2. Uh, she presents today with right breast tenderness and fullness with associated chills, fever, fatigue, and malaise times the last three days. Uh, she is currently breastfeeding and is three months postpartum. She says that her pain in her right breast is non-radiating, but she describes it as aching and constant, and she rates it a 3 to 4 out of 10 on the worst days. Uh, she says the pain is worse with breastfeeding, um, and she's tried different things to try and alleviate the pain, but with no success. So she's taken 325 milligrams of PO Tylenol times one dose. She's attempted to massage the right breast and apply a warm compress, none of which has given her any resolution. She is breastfeeding on demand, um, but she also uses an electric breast pump about two to three times a day. She has noticed a decreased milk, su milk supply from her right breast. Um, she's also noticed that her right breast is warm to touch, slightly erythematous, um, with a small palpable lump that appeared with the onset of nostalgia. Um, she denies abnormal nipple discharge, no injury to the nipple, denies evidence of oral thrush in baby. She does report a history of mastitis times one episode with her eldest daughter a few years ago. Um, other review of systems, she's reporting to be in generally good health, denies decreased appetite, denies weight loss, denies feeling sad or depressed, but she says that the stress at home has increased significantly this past week because her husband and her mother have both returned to work. She denies nasal congestion, sore throat, rhinorrhea, denies shortness of breath, dyspnea, cough, no nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, um, denies myalgias and ophthalgias. She is up to date on the flu vaccine and all the other recommended vaccines for her. Her only past medical history includes that one episode of mastitis, no surgical history. Um, OBGYN history includes um, onset of menses at age 12. Her LMP was January 2016. Um, and like I said, she is G2P2. Um, both of her children were born via spontaneous vaginal, de vaginal delivery with no complications. Um, the only medication she's taking is a prenatal vitamin, one tablet, PO daily, and then that Tylenol 325 milligrams times that one dose. She has no known drug allergies. Um, the only pertinent family history really for her uh, is that her mother is a survivor of endometrial cancer. Other family history includes both of her paternal grandparents dying um, from a stroke at age 85 and 90, I think she said. Um, YC lives at home with her husband and two daughters. Her oldest daughter is three in good health. Her youngest daughter is three months old and also in good health. Her husband is a businessman who travels very frequently. Um, and because of that, YC is currently a stay-at-home mom. She does hope to return to work as a teacher when her children are both in school. She's never used tobacco and denies any alcohol and drug use. Um, at this point, your differentials, at least mine were, infective lactational mastitis, influenza, breast abscess, plug duct, severe engorgement, and inflammatory breast cancer. Um, on physical exam, her vital signs were stable with the exception of a low-grade temperature. Her tympanic temperature was 99.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, YC is pretty ill-appearing but not toxic. She's alert, she's pleasant, cooperative, and maintains good eye contact. I combined the skin and the breast assessment into one. Um, her The right upper aspect of her right breast has some wispy erythema and associated engorgement, warmth, and a non-fluctuant, non-tender mobile area of induration, um, consistent with the lump that she kind of described earlier. She has no nipple inversion, no retraction or discharge, and her left breast is normal. Uh, HE and T is within normal limits, thyroid is normal, no lymphadenopathy, lungs are clear, normal respiratory effort, um, cardiovascular wise, heart sounds are clear, S1, S2, um, no edema. There's no labs or imaging that we have on file for her at this time. I would go into the assessment and plan, but I'm not supposed to give away what the actual diagnosis is, so I'll kind of leave that up to you all um, to discuss. Good luck.